Everyone, my name is Luke. This is the Outdoor Gear Review. Check out this tent. Military, yes. Rare, oh yes. This is the rarest military tent in the entire world. This is made by Nemo, and this is the Nemo Coda 1.5 Shield Edition tent. Made for the United States government for multiple purposes. What exactly the use case is of this tent within the United States military is unknown. Much concerning this tent and its development and use is a mystery. It is currently in use today and it came to the market in roughly 2013. This was never offered to the civilian market and very, very rarely do you ever find this as used military surplus. Before going any further, everyone, my name is Luke. This is the Outdoor Gear Review. Thank you very much for tuning in. Now, in the past, we've taken a look at some of the rarest military tents in the world. Some of the most expensive, in fact, the most expensive military tent ever made. And that would be the Nemo Advanced Combat Linking System. Now, with the Coda, folks, I promise you, you've never seen a tent like this before. This thing is very, very unique. Before going any further, let's talk about Nemo and what exactly the Shield Project is, or was. Come back to that in just a second. Going back to 2006, Nemo introduced the Shield line of tents and military products for the United States military. From what I understand, some of these products have been used by other militaries such as South Korea and so on. Essentially, Nemo joined forces with the U.S. Army Soldier Research Development and Engineering Center, and they also connected with the United States Special Operations Unit. Now, together, they began making products for warfighters, and this tent is a prime example of that. The Coda is not the only tent that was adopted by the United States military. You have the Switchblade 1, you have the Tonto SE, and so on. There are plenty of others. Now, when it comes to rarity, you would think that the most expensive tent in the world, military, would be the rarest one, but no. The Coda is by far the rarest military tent in the entire world. I've been searching for one of these tents for the last five years, and look here. Finally, finally, I have one in my possession to share with you all. Now, if you're a soldier in the United States military, you may be saying to yourself, hey, I've never seen any of these Nemo products, and that makes sense. From what I understand, the adoption of these was very, very specific for very specific uses and still utilized in small sections of the military. For an example here, the Coda has been adopted by the Naval Special Warfare Unit of the United States military. Before we touch upon stats, let's just go ahead and take a look at this tent in some detail because it's very unusual. This tent does not have one door or two doors, but three doors. And the design of this tent really is more of a tunnel tent than anything else. It's a single wall tent which features three doors and two vestibules. Consider that for a second. Three doors, two vestibules. It's a very interesting design. With the vestibules, they can be taken off. There's one here at the front, there's one on the side. You could take off the one on the side and put it on the other side if you want to. Now, this tent was designed to link with other tents. So let's say you had this tent here, you could actually link up with another one side by side. Now, Nemo states this is for advanced communication and so on. I really don't know what that means. <laughs> I can only imagine like zip, high five, zip it shut again. Not really. I'm sure there is a purpose, but it sounds funny. Anyways, so the design with the vestibules is highly unique. You have an external pole, as you can see there, but in fact, there are two poles. One external and then one here for the vestibule. The side without the vestibule looks like this. As you can see, there is a meshed window. The other side, of course, has the same features. You have a storm flap, which goes over the zipper. And the vestibule can be completely removed. It could also be rolled up. Of course, you have the mesh window right here, and then you have access to the tent itself. With the front vestibule, it zips into place here and attaches down at the bottom with the pole. Right here's the door. You also have this so you can create a vent on those hot nights. You have two-way zippers, so this can be unzipped any way that you wish. As you can see, this is a tunnel tent. <laughs> a triangularly shaped tunnel tent. When it comes to getting inside of the tent, going through the sides is easier than the front. This is a very low profile tent. It's close to the ground. So even for a short guy like myself, 
it is rather difficult to get in from the front. So the side is a whole lot easier. And there you go. The windows opened up. You have this small section of mesh here on both sides. It does help with ventilation. It is better than nothing. So the inside essentially looks like this. You have the little meshy vent at the end. There's the other door. Here's taking a look at the front. And that's it, folks. So when it comes to actually being inside of this tent, it's a tunnel tent. It is very, very tight. If you're claustrophobic, you are not going to like this. All the seams are taped and it is 100% waterproof. Now the reason that Nemo calls this the one and a half is because it's big enough for one person and their gear. Two people, not a chance. One person, their gear, yeah, you can make it work. This thing is long. It is very, very long. Can you sit up? Kind of. I'm short, I can barely do it. If you're taller, it's not gonna work. Now folks, let's go over some stats real quick. Now the government price for this tent is right around $1,300. The market price, which means essentially the price that you could expect to find if you can ever find one of these is around $2,000. The price of these, because they're so rare, has gone sky high. As mentioned before, I've been trying to find one of these for roughly five years. Finally, I have one thanks to a viewer. Outside of this one, which a viewer has sent to me, I've only seen one, and I think it sold for 125 bucks because the entire side of it was torn apart. <laughs> Essentially, it was worthless. All the others that I've seen over the years have sold for thousands upon thousands of dollars. If you're familiar with military tents such as the Nemo ALCS Advanced Linking Combat System, this tent shares in that design, but it does not share in materials. The Advanced Combat Linking System tent was made from a specialized form of Gore-Tex, which was developed for the military, for Nemo, for that tent. This tent uses your run-of-the-mill nylon, and that is why it's less expensive than the Advanced Linking Combat System tent. When it comes to the development of this tent, it was made in conjunction with special operations. And it was designed to be extremely low profile, and it was designed to be used in any sort of environment. Now, as you can see here, this is Coyote Brown, right? Every single version of this tent is Coyote Brown, but they do make covers which go over the top of these that feature many different types of camo patterns so it can blend into any environment. It was also designed to be lightweight, and it is impressively so. I'll come back to that in just a moment. It was designed to be set up very quickly, and that it is. It's very simple, two poles, you have about 10 stakes, you have the two vestibules. This is made in the United States. It is berry compliant, and this tent was made by two different companies, Nemo and Diamond. They essentially worked together on making this tent. It was designed to be waterproof, windproof, highly breathable, and is one of the most advanced military tents out on the market today from any company. Because of the low profile, this tent essentially silhouettes into any environment, especially with those covers. Now, those covers are known as interchangeable partial flies. Again, I have not seen any of those. Now, one interesting point to bring up about the interchangeable partial flies is that they were designed to act as sunshades and to keep the temperature down inside of the tent. Coming back to weight, does anybody want to take a guess as to what this tent weighs? Go ahead, pause the video, post down below what you think. I will tell you the answer in five, four, three, two, one. The minimum weight of this tent is three pounds, 14 ounces. That's pretty impressive, especially for a military product because every single military tent out on the market weighs a bloody ton. I have most of them, I've used most of them, this is by far one of the lightest. When you factor in all the vestibules, you're looking at five pounds, 12 ounces. When it comes to the fabrics and materials, you are looking at a combination of 40D PU nylon, 70D PU nylon. It features YKK zippers and the poles are aluminum. The floor area for the inside of the tent is roughly 24 square feet. The vestibule itself offers an additional 13 square feet. When it comes to the dimensions, I'll get that for you. This tent is 91 inches long and it has a peak height of 31 inches. Also, it is 31 inches wide at the floor and tapers up to a point. So there you have it, that is the Coda 1.5 SE military tent from Nemo. What an interesting tent. I tell you what everyone, this thing is cool in many different ways, but should you go out 
try to find one of these should you purchase one of these in my opinion i would say no the form factor of this is somewhat uncomfortable it's long it's narrow it's pointed at the top so you don't have much headroom if you're a military fan you're gonna like it but outside of that it's not too practical really now of course that's the civilian perspective there are military applications where this makes sense and that's why it's used today now when it comes to nemo and their shield department i cannot tell you exactly what is going on with them all of their products have been removed from their website i can no longer find any catalogs but they still have a page on their website dedicated to shield when it comes to the shield aspect of nemo that was in development for over 10 years with the united states government i highly doubt that it's completely over we may see some new products in the future now of course i'm just guessing i have no insight into that at all because of the design of this tent you may be asking yourself luke why do you like this tent so much well this is the cool thing about it it's a modular system that's highly adaptable for just about any environment so essentially you could take what you want and leave the rest behind well everyone that pretty much wraps it up for this episode that is the rarest military tent in the entire world good luck finding one of these it's almost impossible you're better off looking for the advanced combat linking system tent that's much easier to find than this one here. Now, of course, with that tent, you may pay more because of that Gore-Tex material. Both tents are excellent examples of the next generation of military tents that are being used today. The designs are different than anything that you will find on the civilian market. And oftentimes, the materials used are more advanced. That is especially true with the advanced combat linking system tent. All right, everybody, if you have any questions for me, make sure to email me. Make sure to comment down below. Share your thoughts about this bad boy. Everyone, take care. Strength and honor. Let me ask you this. Would you spend $1,000 on this tent? Even if you love military surplus, would you spend $1,000 on this tent? I'm not saying you can buy it for $1,000. I'm just asking. In all truth, if you were to find one of these, it would probably go for around $2,000. Would you spend $2,000 on this? Everyone, take care.